It is 6.43. John B is styling his hair right now. I'm washing my hands. Look at that flow. We are at Table Rock Lake. John and I are fishing a tournament in two days, so we gotta to practice today. Got up early. We're gonna to fish top water. John says the fishing sucks, but uh, we're about to change that today. You ready to catch some biggins? I guess. We're catching biggins on the wrong way. I feel like that actually might have fallen out of the boat. Now that I'm thinking about it. Well, we're at the gas station and uh, John B lost his wallet, so got a bet. Back in the truck. I got donuts. Oh, that's gonna be the highlight of the day. You ready? Yes. We're gonna catch some fish. That right there is Table Rock Lake. Beautiful, calm morning. John B and I. I got him out of bed early to go fish top water. So our boat, our boat's somewhere back in there. I've got to get all my fishing stuff out of my truck and and then carry it down there. Made it to the boat. This is the boat John B and I are rocking in. We got a, what is this, Z20? 2016 Z20 and uh, got all of our gear, rods and tackle and all sorts of fun stuff. Meeting a donut. John's getting his poles. Getting his poles out. Bang, bang, we're about to catch some top water. Yes. It's about to go down. Out on the lake with the man John hey. B. I'm starting out with the old white buzz bait. John's throwing a topwater walking bait. Let's see if we can catch a few fish. It is uh, about almost eight o'clock, 7.55 or something like that. We're basically fishing in a cloud right now, so. Yeah, we're basically fishing in a cloud. So the topwater should, should last a little bit. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Really, really appreciate that. Good tip. If you're that guy, don't do that. It's really key when you're fishing a buzz bait to fish it when there's a lot of uh, waves rolling into the bank. Keep going, too. What a freaking goober. I got the Ned rig on. Got a little finesse jig on. Top water basically just sucked, so. Going to some finesse tactics here and uh, see what happens. John B's. Uh Toss the drone up since uh, fishing's not that good right now, and uh, we're just chilling. He's doing drone. He's doing drone things, but we're, we got some finesse tactics on. We're uh, ready to go after some uh, some fish, some less active fish off Main Lake points, and I don't know. I'm just saying words to make it sound like I know what I'm doing. How's it going? Yeah, how's it going? No, I'm Parrot. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Good luck, guys. Got him. Look at these planes. That's so sick. I was wondering why I kept these warning on my uh kept saying uh, you're in a class deep. No fly zone. Where's the little rock? Well, that's why. So John was uh, flying his drone, and yeah. there's a warning saying that he it's couldn't. Low enough. Yeah. And now we, yeah. now, now we know that. why. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was for sure a fish. Yeah. You got it. Oh, what? That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Oh baby, I missed him. That, I don't know how that happened. Don't. Yep. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's a small. Oh Dude, crushing it oh on God. Table Rock. I mean, I had to live up to my name when I traveled to Table Rock, but dang, son! I knew the fish was tough, but God. This is what we're dealing with. Well. Holy crap! See you, little buddy. 
Nice fish, buddy. High five. Woo! We, uh, we found him. Drop the poles. Yeah. Put a waypoint on the spot. Caught one fish, and then uh, John and I were moving. We gotta go find some better spots. Our spots right now are not very juicy, so or fire for that matter. There's nothing right now grouping bait fish at all. So they're just gonna be chilling. Yep. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, oh. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is a decent one, dude. Yeah, it is. Oh, baby. Not a giant. Oh. <laughs> Oh, finally, boys. Whew. Hey, I caught a fish. It's cute. It's better than a, it's better than a small, small, even a big, or a small, uh, small larger. Well, I'll take it. Nice one. It's a fish. Good fish. All right. See you, Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. You just look like a Ricardo. You look like So, it's uh, 10, 1035, something like that. And uh, we realized the oil gauge is on E. And uh, so we need to put oil, oil on the boat. That's uh, usually fairly important when, when using those. So any of you guys that don't have boats or anything, uh, make sure you put oil in the, in the engines. Oil, check. Pulled into a new spot. Shout out to uh, Ethan A. I'm just gonna call you Ethan A because I can't pronounce your last name. Who uh, DM'd me on Twitter and uh, gave John B and I some tips. He slid into my DMs and gave me some tips and told me to come fish this area. So if we catch fish, I give him full credit. Get him. Oh, fish. 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 Oh, we got one. Is it big one? Oh. Oh, we'll take it. It's a spot. We'll take it. It is a spot. Look at that fish. <laughs> There's brush down there. There you go. Yes, my first Table Rock spotted bass. Shout out to Ethan, hooking us up. Yeah, shout out to Ethan for hooking us up with a spot. Oh, John B. Fish. Little guy. Is that Small. Smalley? Hey, the largemouth said in the hydro wave isn't working. <clears throat> John B. caught another. Well, he caught two. He caught another one on that jig. We're just kind of spot hopping now, trying to find some... Similar looking stuff. They're, we're both throwing jigs now and uh, finesse jigs, yeah. Not not like big jigs, like finesse jigs. Oh, oh man. wow. Good one. John B. Good kind of, real good, good one? one? Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. Good one. John's good got, one. he's got a real good one on. Ooh, nice one. Oh, that's a really nice fish. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm I mean, woo! Woo! Small mouth. Look at that. That's you a, see the hooks that's a big old small mouth. That's a good table rock small. We need five of these. Oh, five of those. We'd be sitting we sitting all right. Too long. Not super heavy, but long. Nice. Dang. They like your jig. Yeah, they do. They like that. You know, if you want one, I got one. Yeah, I do. They like that little color. Sweet. So. so John B is nice enough to give me one of his jigs. I managed to lose my entire jig box before this trip. Like a couple thousand dollars worth of jigs. So, I have no jig, so he's got one, and we, we're thinking, our theory is that this little orange deal works, works pretty well and is making, making the difference. I don't know, it, it, could be, it could be anything, but I'm going to tie this on in hopes that I can catch a couple fish. One tip for some of you guys that might be new to jig fishing is this is a brand new jig out of the pack, and I always try to trim up the skirt a little bit. Make it a little bit shorter, just kind of doing it like this. And then what you do is you split it in half, you take the top half, you make the top half shorter, than the bottom half. There you go. So now I really slimmed down that presentation. Uh, that just seems to be seems to be what these fish want. We'll find out. Oh. I don't know. I get the, I got hit by something. Yep. Oh. What yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, dude, it might be a toad. Is it coming at you? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. That was a fish, though. You saw it. I know, yeah, it's definitely a fish. It's something, something's still on, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still on. Yeah. Oh, yes. Dude, it's a big largemouth. Nice one, dude. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah if you want to. Yeah. It's a nice it might be a spot. It might be. A, no, it's got a big mouth on it. Oh, Is it? We caught all three today. He was hung in something. Yeah, I think I was in that brush. Yes! Dude. Completed it, dude. Ooh, large mouth. Large mouth. Ah. <laughs> we did it. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, that makes me so he excited. Choked it too. Check that fish out. That's that's right there where we need tournament day. Good fish. Look at that. Nice, healthy, probably two and a half, three pound fish. See you later, Deshaun. There she goes. Yes. Table Rock, you're not so bad after all. So? Yeah. There it go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Quick tip from uh, Fisherman Flare. Always check your knot or check the line after you get hung up. As you saw, I just could break it with my hand. So you always want to retie. Because if I would have had like a four pounder hit, it would have broken off and it would have broken my heart. Quick tip always check your line, always retie after you get hung up. Got him. Yeah, if you guys, I don't know how well the GoPro just caught that, but if you guys want to know how to do that, comment down below and I'll include it in a, maybe tomorrow's video if I get hung up fishing a pond or something like that. It, it like went to the side. This thing is just anti. Yep. It works. We actually came out, we skipped school and everything just to find you guys today. No, you, no way. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Found it. Yeah, I can't believe you guys yeah, actually found us. What are you doing up there, John B? Well, a little bit of equipment failure today. So now we're we're not relying on the fancy equipment that I uh, usually use in my videos. I'm just gonna do the hand line process. Nice, good yeah. cast. Yeah. Seven yards, quality. All of seven yards. You want to get it for me, dude? It's heavy as hell. It's a big motor. It's 112. It's <laughs> like I'm strong. He's swole, I'm dude. Strong and independent. <laughs> I don't need no man in my life. So, do you guys remember earlier when he, after he flew the drone, then we saw the two airplanes going, and it was like a no-fly zone? Well, John B doesn't care. He is gonna get some dope drone shots. So I'm warning him right now. I'm telling him, do not do it. Because we might get in trouble, but it's, worth the B -roll. B -roll it's, it's you gotta risk it for the YouTube video. I'm telling right now not to do it. So if we get in trouble, I'm just this is the cops gonna watch this. It, it's not it's not my idea. I, I don't I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know that guy. No, no idea. We are back at the boat. Right? Look, no. What is this? A slip? Huh. Yeah. We're back at the boat slip. Ending the day, 2.37. We stayed out like four hours longer than we, <laughs> than we initially planned on. But uh, we caught some fish. We, uh, it started off super, super, super slow to where I was thinking this might not even be a video. But John B. caught some fish. I caught some fish. We had a fun time. And um, that's basically it. We're going to go back. I'm going to edit this video. But if you guys want to know the rod, reel, line, lure that we are using, check down below in the description. Uh, as far as, I, I mean, I usually try to talk about tactics and then just leave all my gear down below just so I don't take up time. Or tactics were really just throwing at whatever. I mean, we caught some, in, if you could find basically brush piles off of points, and that's basically like, that's where you really wanna catch the fish. So if you could find any brush piles. Otherwise, you know, it's post frontal, it's, it's super sunny, it's calm. So I guess for those of you guys that don't fish this lake in particular, for something that you guys can take home uh, with you to, to go catch fish, if it's bright and sunny, if there's not a cloud in the sky and it's calm, do not throw, I should say do not. You should probably not throw moving baits, crank baits, spinner baits. You wanna throw jigs, uh, Ned rigs, finesse, just any type of finesse, anything that's on the bottom, moving slow. You don't wanna do reaction baits when it's bright, sunny, and calm. As well as if it's cloudy or windy and then you wanna use those moving baits. But that's basically the tip, the tip for this video that you guys can go home with. As always, wait, no, I don't say that. Uh, yep, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Peace.
Actually, no. John, John can do the outro. So that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Yes. Look at that flow. Golden. There you go.